Hello, I'm Sinead, and this week we're bringing your week in tech from Aviva's Digital Garage. I'm here with Andrew. Andrew, tell us more about the garage. Well, here we've got engineers, digital marketeers, um, designers, and we work with startups to create new insurance products and services. And um, we've got a second garage as well in Singapore. P2P mortgage lender Lendinvest has raised £17 million. The raise brings the company's total funding to over £200 million. E-lending platform Easy Bob Limited has raised £20 million in Series C funding in a round led by Lumi Partners and Oak Tree Capital Management. Scottish startup eGeo has raised $5 million from a range of investors including Netsol Technologies as it looks to continue the global expansion of its 3D mapping platform. Innovate UK's IC Tomorrow programme has launched a competition that will see £180,000 awarded to a number of sharing economy startups. Six small businesses will be awarded up to £30,000 each to encourage development in the peer-to-peer -peer revolution. Chancellor George Osborne delivered the budget this week. There was some good news for tech companies. There will be increases in funding for smaller UK businesses, including regional support for high growth companies. Osborne promised to help the sharing economy with two new tax-free allowances worth £1,000 a year, one for selling goods or providing services, and one for income from property you own, such as renting a driveway. A 5G strategy will be created, plus an extra 4.5 million is to be spent on broadband in the southwest. And there are improvements for fintech, including promoting the authorization of more new banks. Our download of the week is My Aviva. The app for Aviva customers lets you find offers, renew your policies, and manage your insurance from one place. And finally, are you worried about air pollution in the city? An army of pigeons is about to save us. The pigeons carry tiny backpacks and measure the air pollution, tweeting about their findings. This has been your Week in Tech. For more, check out Tech City News and follow us on Twitter.